If you've got a Garmin GPS and you want to get some maps for it, they're available online at the Garmin website and they're called Garmin OpenStreet Routable Maps. In order to uh, make these maps available to your Garmin GPS, you have to copy them to a micro SD card. This is one here and it's shown with its holder. The holder is a blank holder and you can put the micro in the holder in order to use it with a card reader on your computer. But that's not necessary because you put the SD card directly into the Garmin unit, not using the holder. This particular one is an 8 gigabyte HC class 4 and it cost about three pounds. The eight gigabyte is big enough capacity to probably store most of the maps on the Garmin website, which is an unlikely situation. So where do you put the SD card? They go behind the batteries on your, on your Garmin GPS. So you simply remove the batteries and there you see where the card is located. You slide this little slider up, up and the card falls out. Now if you bought mapping for your GPS this card with the mapping on it is, as you know, worth a lot of money. So you'll want to store it in a safe place and then put your blank card in place of it. Now you have the SD card installed in your GPS unit and it plugged into the UPS port on your computer. You're ready to download the maps from the Garmin website. So go to your browser and then go to Command and Rambles and then Useful Links and scroll down and click on Garmin OpenStreet Map. This is their website. You'll need the generic routable maps which is the default and you can choose the maps to download by continent. So if we want a country in Europe we pull down that menu and let's choose a small country let's say Cyprus. Once you choose a country the, the tiles are, are presented to you and you're zoomed into that location on the world map. If you click on this box here enable manual tile selection you can add or subtract tiles from your initial selection by simply clicking. We need these two tiles here to get the, the entire island. Then you simply click on, click on download map now. If the server is very busy, rather than having this message, it might ask you to put your email address in and it will send you an email when the maps are ready to download. But Right now they are ready to download, so I'm clicking on that. We're presented with four options. The first one is a map installer for Basecamp and, and map source, which we won't bother with right now. As a matter of fact, I've already done that on my computer. These ones, the second option is for other operating systems such as Linux. The third one is uh, a map installer for uh, Macintosh platform. So we need the fourth option which is the file which we can put directly on the SD card on the GPS unit. So I save the file and it downloads. You can see the seconds counting down while it downloads and when it finishes you'll see a big blue arrow indicating that you're ready to access that file and continue and put it onto your SD card 
on your GPS unit. So now we click on Tools, Downloads. This is the file here. We right click that and click on with a left click Open Containing Folder. You'll notice this is a compressed file, it's 10 megabytes. So if we double left click it, it'll unzip it and it grows by about 30%. The reason they're zipped is the download process is speeded with a smaller file. What we want to do at this point is take it out of this folder and put it somewhere that's more logical. So I'm going to cut this, which is like a move, and go to where I've created a folder to receive the, uh, the file. So I'm going to Documents map folder and then open source maps for Cyprus folder that I've created beforehand. So I'm right clicking and I'm going to paste the file into this folder. Now it's safely stored. I can copy it and put it on the SD card on the GPS unit but still have it here if I want to take it off the card later on and maybe insert it on another occasion. So I right click the file and copy. I've already got my GPS plugged into the USB port as I said before. I can scroll down and locate it by observing the blue triangle which is the Garmin GPS. Now there are two uh, storage uh, um, options here. And the second one is the SD card. So I double click on that. I've already created a folder called Garmin to receive my maps. They have to go in a folder called Garmin, which is within the SD card. The first time around, you'd simply right click and click on New, and then Folder, and then name it Garmin. I've already got this created, so I'm going to delete this one. This was just to demonstrate to you how you do it. Double click on the folder you've created to get you into that location. So you're in Garmin micro SD card and then a folder nested within that called Garmin. I've already got some maps in here. So I'm going to right click and paste the map I just copied into this location. I'm actually overwriting the map that I put here on another occasion. When that's complete, you know the map is on the SD card on your GPS unit. You can clear your downloads at this point if you wish. This is Basecamp and it allows you to look at anything that's on your GPS unit. On this side bar here, you can look at the, the internal storage and you can uh, see what maps you have on it. If you click on this, you can see what waypoints and routes and tracks you have. We don't need this right now, so I'll push that out the way. And from, from the map option, I'll look at the worldwide auto route map, which comes with the unit if you've bought the 1 to 50,000 mapping. So if you went to Cyprus and all you had was the built in mapping you would only see this amount of detail which is basically the main roads and nothing else, not even the town which is Nicosia in this case is indicated. But if I change the map to the map that I just downloaded and put on the SD card which is this OSM generic routable map and zoom in, 
you'll notice there's so much more detail. All the roads are shown, all the names of the roads, and this will be on your Garmin GPS unit, and you can have it route you from location to location, by foot, by bicycle, or by car which is the routable option within these maps. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions in this regard, I uh, invite you to email the webmaster on the, on the um, Command and Ramblers website and uh, that person will forward the uh, request on to myself and I'll get back to you and answer your question. Goodbye for now.